It is cookie alliance time here today. In today's episode, we got a full blown guide for you to break down season two, three and cookie alliance flame of fate on hard in order to get this right there the 50 pristine skill powder choice chest with that thank you for tuning in as always down below we have timestamps available today as we kind of work through our four t's we got some great tips as well and those four t's are the tactics the team the treasures and the toppings in order to help you succeed and beat hard mode here flame of fate for cookie alliance season two three now if you got a question or comment along the way do let me know because i love to hear from you and feel free to join us in the discord server now first and foremost we do have a few things here with the beasties update um we do have biscuits so make sure that you're doing biscuits we got a ton of content here for you to check out grinding modes for hard to get those legendaries and so forth and then additionally one other tip and trick with that nice level cap at 80. So hang on for a minute because we're going to share that here in a little bit. Now, here's what we got going on. Don't forget to use your beacon of value in terms of that as well. It's with the reset. Make sure you're applying all your artifacts. Ah, look, I got some right here. Um, we have this one at level 11. We're going to take this one to 10. There you are. Perfect. Get that additional booster base bonus. And then on top of that, a good piece of content for you to be aware of in terms of this right here is how to get by this uh, hard level mode because we have the suggested fire, water, and light. So make sure you're investing in those three first um, in terms of your teams because that's gonna be crucial to ultimately get by this one. And then we got additional effects here. We do have defense down, we got enemies attack speed up, crit, crit down, crit damage down, um, periodic damage down, and attack speed down. So a lot of things that hold us back to not be successful to get all these great rewards when we run through here. So let's go ahead and check out our teams. The teams that we're running with and the strategy that I'm deploying is this. I'm very focused on core elemental teams in terms of groupings. We'll talk through it here in a second. The other strategy that you can do is kind of a mixed bag of stuff um, where you may wanna have defense cookies mixed in, not necessarily all based off elemental, but a few different things and certainly try and blow through it with one or two teams uh, from that perspective as well. But this is the team that we're on now on top of that um, you can see that these ones don't have biscuits so make sure that you're you're equipping biscuits um, and our treasures here are these right here we're focused on attack and cooldown we have old pilgrim scroll dream conductor's whistle and squishy jelly watch um, a couple subs that you can think about is librarians enchanted robes you could also go with vial of raging dune sleepyheads jelly watch there more defense um, with disciples magic attack and grim looking side for that crit and then gatekeepers ghost, ghost horn as a few examples now a few things here if you're looking to get to the biscuits a big important way to do it is go to info go to cookie and while a lot you can get to your biscuit this one's pretty good for us damage resist bypass better to have damage resist in general however this is huge in terms of getting by and i really like that so we're keeping that on crimson coral now when it comes to toppings all the toppings still work here so the toppings are very important you can check out all the topping guides here on the channel um, in this case we're on damage resist here with uh and we recommend a resident where it makes sense so make sure you're putting those on the specific cookie types um we're on attack here we're on attack here we're on attack here and then we're on cooldown here so we'll run through that one the other four teams that we have again are predicated based off elemental this is our water team this is our fire team right here here we have our earth team additionally we have our uh frost team and last but not least we have our light team all right so that is all you need to know with our setups um, again additional topping details you can check out some of the guides or ask all right here we go this is where we're after in terms of the cookie alliance hard mode let's go for it for you today now a couple things here again it's going to give you that pop-up if you don't have everything make sure you're filling those out we certainly could take a bunch of other ones and just pop them on to fill those spots and get that additional three and a half attack or three attack and hp that's going to be a big kicker for you to get over um, just remember this big strategy here though is you want to be flipping into the right elementals in order to get by these things quickly we drop this one very very fast here which is great so right now we'll stick with the water now the other strategy is if they start to have um like the next one water at the beginning you want to make sure you lead with your water team if it's earth you want to move your earth team to your one slot 
take advantage of your setup very, very quickly out of the gate because that is how you're going to be successful. The other thing that happens here is it is a race against the clock. We got to make it through in less than five minutes here still, so we're on fire. We want to switch over to fire right away. Even though that team could probably get through all by themselves, being on fire is going to be the most successful to get through here because getting that additional damage up is huge, 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 my friends. Now, the other thing is we do have that crit and crit percent damage down. However, we're really focused with burn on this one, so stacking all these burns and getting that burn damage in, as you can see, quickly, quickly helps us destroy and take down a lot of these enemies. All right, we're already at the ruler of the Golden City here. Lots and lots of damage, which is great. Almost done, almost done, my friends. All right, one more hit, and there you go, we have it. On to 13, now it's water, so we want to flip our water team back in. Oh, nice, three minutes still to get through this. Good old sea fairy, drowning them in the waves. Lots of damage there. Stick on it. Periodic damage down. Ooh, these things attack fast. Ooh, there we go. That should be done. Might of the sea. About two and a half minutes here. We are on to the remorseful sugar swan. One more big hit there, team. Hurry up, hurry up. Ooh, there we go. All right. Now we have the light. We want to switch to our light team. Make it fast, make it fast, make it fast. There we go. All right, two minutes left to get to the final wave 20 here. Get that creme brulee cooking and everything else cooking, my friends. Lots of light damage. There we go. A minute and a half here for wave 20. Let's take down the cream roll hog rider. Lots of good damage. Lots of good damage. Halfway. Halfway. Oh, so close. And there you have it, my friends. That is Cookie Alliance. Check. We'll grab this history relic. Now, again, the other great tip and trick here is... If you're stuck and can finally get through all this, go ahead and crack the other chest and take all these amazing rewards you with you. Here. And that, my friends, is what we call onwards and upwards here, as always, with your Cookie Alliance hard mode. Check. And if you still got a question, if you got a comment about today's episode, do let me know. We did walk through the four T's. That's the tactics, the team, the treasure, and the toppings in order to succeed. We focused on our elemental groupings and teams in order to cut over in each of those spaces, as you could see, and help us be successful for hard mode. We gave you two new key tips and tricks, in particular with the new Beast Yeast as well, those Beast Gets, as well as the good old Hall of Ancients tip and trick as well. With that, Hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for tuning in and thank you as always for your support. I appreciate the likes and the subs as we grow this amazing community here. On top of that, as always, truly a thank you to our members. Memberships are available to you. It's a nice way to support the channel. We also have affiliate links, merch store swag, those kinds of things as well, and socials. So please stay connected, my friends. Um, enjoy Cookie Alliance here, season two, three. We got some great upgrades in Beast Yeast, and these teams are getting bigger, stronger, hitting harder and faster as always. We'll see you in the next one. We got a ton of great Cookie Run Kingdom content here in the meantime, and I look forward to seeing you overcoming this Cookie Alliance season two, three. Take care.